search filters organic search KPIs by average page rank and their corresponding average page on Google. Keywords on page one consist of three tables showing their respective average rankings for position one, um, between positions two and five, and then position six through 10. The scatter chart shows all keywords positions one through 10 um, and we made it into the same type of scatter chart that you'll find on the keywords type page of the report. In case you missed it, I will link to that video at the end of this video. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is add a new page to the report we've been building. Let's copy over our controls as well. We're going to copy our data and our date range over to page four. Right. Now in our top navigation, we will add a chart table. Data source, you want to make sure you're using the Search Console site impressions. And then we'll adjust our dimension to query, since we are working with queries. Metrics, I'm going to use impressions and a click-through rate percentage. So I'll quickly be able to uh, filter which keywords are receiving the greatest impressions and where we have um, some slight click-through rate issues. So now that we have that set up, I'm going to set the rows per page to five, just so that's not out of control. Pretty easy to uh, understand. Um, and sorting by, uh, you can sort by impressions or I choose click-through rate so that I can quickly see what's working really well and what needs some additional help. Default date range, you want that to stay auto so that when you adjust your date range, it'll automatically update your table. And then we'll come down here, we need to add a table filter so that we're only showing the queries that are hitting the average rank that we want. Name it something like position one, ensure that the data source is matching, so the Search Console site impressions. Um, you'll click include average position because we want to filter to the queries that just have the average position equaled to one. Go ahead and click save. Let's do this one more time and adjust our average position range. Let's go ahead and copy and paste your chart. And now we're going to scroll down here and update our table filter. Instead of position one, we're going to do positions two through five. So now we're going to include queries with an average position between two and five. And we can even do this one last time so that you get the full thing. We're going to need to add some stylistic elements. So select your graph across the board and we can come down here in our style to wrap text and that will make that fit nicer for us. Now let's check our date range and just make sure it's working the way we expect it to. 